Bob Hall here with another Wholesome Farm video. Today I'm going to show you um, how we make food for the worms. Uh, you don't have to blend it up, but uh, worms only eat things once they're broken down. And if you can blend them, uh, they'll break down much, much quicker. So I just want to show you some of the stuff we've saved over the weekend. And, uh, and you put in some eggshells or eye of newt, hippias claw, bracket lung. No, I'm just kidding. Those are sci-fi shows. But uh, from an apple, tomato, uh, strawberries that we had uh, processed, cut the greens off of, any of this kind of stuff. What you don't want to do is dairy or meat. And on the bananas, I like to cut the stem off because they don't they don't grind up too well. And let's see, I've got some leftover salsa that's no good. So let's see what happens. it up pretty well. I can this is ready and I'll show you in a minute how we just go out and put it in with the worms. Now I made some uh, vegetable soup last night but I wound up putting too much broth in it. So I'm using that as a liquid to uh, help churn this. Again, I got some eggshells, and uh, yesterday was a Super Bowl, so we uh, popped up a little popcorn. Got some uh, tomatoes and vegetables and um, let's see okay I'm going to finish the rest of this but uh, you can see by juicing it like this, making a worm smoothie, and uh, they're gonna they're gonna love it. So I'll bring you back when I go out and uh, put the give, feed this to the worms. As you can see, hopefully, I made a huge bowl of worm smoothie, and uh, many of you might know, but uh, I just put some water and some soap in here, and. Uh, <laughs> times that's a good way to clean the inside of your blender I mean not a final clean but to get a lot of the gunk <coughs> stuff out of it <coughs> there we go I also use this blender uh, if you've seen my soap video how to make uh, laundry and dishwasher soap I'll put the, the link up here to it uh, that's how I, I blend uh, blend up the soap to uh, to put, add the soap to the, the, the zote or the soap to the mix. So here's the, the worm bed and here's the mix that uh, we just made up, the worm smoothie. And all you do is you just pour it on. There you go and uh, as that breaks down the worms they'll come and they'll uh, they'll eat and they'll feast on that for a while I wanted to do that normally we feed all this stuff to the chickens or the goats but um, 
we've got spring just around the corner so I wanted to give this some time to start breaking down and getting the worms to uh, uh, start producing compost again worm castings so the uh, I had somebody ask me one of the questions was how, how do you harvest the uh, and I'll make a video of that when we go to do it but you see how big this container is so what we do is we'll feed on one side and then the worms they will all migrate or most of them will anyway to this side <coughs> excuse me then we come to this side and we can harvest then we'll start feeding on this side and the worms once they've eaten this down will migrate over and you just go back and forth like that and you can get and uh, you don't have to worry because there'll be little eggs worms will hatch out and might even be some small worms when you harvest but hey it's all going into the garden so it's all good that's you know it's wonderful to have worms in your garden anyway just wanted to show you how to make a worm smoothie and uh, feed your worms I've seen uh, several people saying that they want to try this method so uh, just want to keep helping along well that's it for today if you like what we're doing here on the, the farm please uh, share our videos that helps us out a lot and if you haven't please subscribe and thank you for watching